Wow. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Flow. The news fell for director Gitzel Lobatis. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Flow. Flow is a animated film from Lat Latvia that is about a cat who finds itself in the middle of a flood, ends up befriending, in a way, a capybara, a lemur, and a dog, as well as a stork. And they go on an adventure as they try to survive this once-in-a-lifetime flood that we have no idea what's happening. So, it's an animated film that follows these creatures, these animals, as they try to survive in a world that is uh, changing on them. And it mostly follows the cat. If you ever played, like, Stray, you know that cats are very energetic when it comes to how they act and stuff like that. So, that's what this movie's about. It's about... A cat that ends up befriending him, not really befriending, but kind of getting along with the other animals and the adventures they go on on a boat. Okay, so I've been really looking forward to this movie for quite a while, ever since I saw the trailer a few months ago. Um, I didn't know how moved I was going to be by this movie, um, to be fairly honest. I just knew that the, the animation looked really good. It has a mixture of like what looks like uh, Unreal Engine uh, 5 or something of that nature. It looks at like a really realistic background with, um, I would say pastel, almost like um, uh, art deco type of animation when it comes to the, the, the creatures themselves, the animals. But it looked really cool. Like I love really interesting traditional animation as well as really creative, uh, unique animation. It's just kind of how I roll. But this movie looked like it was gonna be something truly special. And then I heard everybody talk about it, how truly special it was. And, um, so apparently, apparently it's not a stork, it's a secretary bird, but going off the subject on that, um, <laughs> wow, uh, I, I don't have words to talk about. I really do have words because I have to do a review, but I don't have words to explain how much this movie moved me as this is my honest review. This is a movie so special, a movie so uh authentic a movie so emotionally uh cathartic that it actually made me cry several times and i just i'm well up thinking about it right now i never thought i'd watch a movie it's been a long time since i've seen a movie that moved me this much um i mean it's a pretty basic movie about a cat that befriends a couple a bunch of animals in the middle of a, a flood like a noah's ark type of flood but this movie is so much more than that this movie is about humanity and how we can rise above our differences in a major catastrophe it's about looking past who we are it's about the journey that we travel whether it be life and death it's a movie about the soul of a human being and there's much more to that much more than even i can imagine it's about how people become friends how people uh go beyond the world that is shown to us and it's one of the most movie things I've ever seen in ever. This movie is incredible. This movie is going to be one of the decade defining movies for me because what Gensil Bellatos did in this movie is create something so impassioned, so revelatory, so beautiful that it just, it surprised me. It really did. I did not, I, I knew I was probably going to at least enjoy this movie, but what I didn't expect is something that's so profound that it would, literally bring me to tears. Um, the other great thing about this movie, the other really kind of amazing thing is how realistic these animals are. The amount of time that Gintz and his crew of people probably spent studying these animals is shown on the screen. That's the one thing that Pixar's always been, Pixar or any studio of animation, Blue Sky that it used to be, is really good at is really studying the, the way animals move, the way they act, the way they react to things. But these animals move in naturalistic ways. The cat gets scared. The cat's meowing when it's afraid. It, it hisses. It, it learns. It, it, it acts like a cat. The same thing with the capybara and the, the secretary bird and the, the lemur. They all act like they would act. You know, They also have humanistic abilities where, you know, the cat learns and it learns how to, you know, be a kind of humanistic in a lot of ways. The same thing with, like, the capybara who is, like, uh, using the boat to steer and then... You know, the secretary bird who feels like somebody that, you know, 
is very regal, but also very humble. And the same thing with the lemur is constantly stealing stuff. It's just, there's very humanistic approaches to these animals, but it also makes them animals. It teaches them animals. It just, it's such a interesting, such a fascinating, such a impressive way that they did it. You know, you feel every time the cat's in danger, you feel every time you see the whale in this movie and how the whale feels so like a guide and a spear. That's what a lot of like movies and TV shows have been doing, especially if you look at Star Wars, is whales feel very spiritualistic and stuff like that. So they feel like they are a guiding force. But it just, there are things in this movie, there are shots in this movie, especially dealing with the, 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 the secretary bird and the cat, that especially there's this one scene that is so beautiful, so heartwarming, but also very just kind of interesting and very moving and there's lots of scenes like that you know when they find the sunken city and they find a a bunch of dogs and how they interact with one another it's just everything about this movie is just absolutely wonderful absolutely just uh beautiful and cathartic and empowering it's just i can't tell you what this movie did to me because i can't tell you in so many words you have to feel this movie because once you watch it, you watch like the heartache you go with in the adventure with this cat. You watch the, the the scariness, but you also watch the wonder, the beautiful, and you watch the, like the you see a bunch of lemurs, and you just see everything about this. They go through a storm, and they go through every emotion that we go through, whether it be the darkness of our soul or the lightness that we surround ourselves with, or the friendship. It just this movie is astounding. This movie is so good. It's. It blew my mind how much I was I was sucked into this movie. I watched it twice. I watched it last night and I watched this watched it this morning of this review because I had to envelop myself into this. And but I want to uh, you know this sounds really weird, but I apologize. But I want to hug Gitzil Bellatos because he has created something magical, and it just I, I I don't know what else to say. This movie is incredible. It's beautiful. It's it's just. It's everything. It's what I love about movies. It's what I feel about movies. It's what I why I feel this profession, or not this profession, but this art. It can be amazing. It really is, and I, I get tears in my face now. But Flow is the best movie this year. There's nothing else. I, I said that about Sing Sing. I said that about the Substance. This is the movie of the year. There is nothing that's going to be even close to it. I know I've seen this late in the year, um, as of this review. But this movie is going to be a decade movie for me. This may be a movie that I'm going to remember. I'm going to, it's like, you know, one of those lifetime movies where you're going to remember it and you're going to you're going to recommend it and you're just going to wholeheartedly love it. And I can't wait for this to come on physical media so I can buy it and own it. And I can't wait for everybody to find this movie because it's an absolutely incredible movie. So flow highest recommendation I could give it every inch of my body towards flow. So that's where I'll lie on Flow, one of the best movies I've seen this year, or at least the best movie I've seen this year. So there you go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my review of Flow. I really appreciate it. In the comments below, is there a movie like this that has moved you or made you feel something? And tell me why in the comments. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see on this channel, awesome. Hit the subscribe button, the Jordan Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys.